What's up guys? This weekend I will be competing at Europe's Strongest Man for Giants Live in Leeds. Obviously last year went pretty well, ended up winning it. Great show. For me, Europe's Strongest Man is probably the best single day show, I think, on the on the scene. The Leeds Stadium, it's usually stowed out. There's 10,000 plus people there. The stadium just goes up for miles. I remember the first time competing there, Max Axel, a few years back. And I came out onto the stage before we started and I just looked up and I was I was in awe. Truly mind blowing to me to see how far the the sport has come. I suppose to see how far I've come as well. You know, because I've started my career competing in, in car parks and I've done all that. You know, I've competed in car parks, I've done all this stuff and then, you know, to see the the stadium like Leeds, you know, and, and see the the ten thousand plus people there to see Thor win his titles, to see Thor versus Eddie, to see Big Laws win there, to see Eddie do his deadlift, you know, this is such a an iconic place for strongman. It's a privilege, you know, it's still very much a privilege for me to do what I do and I'm really, really, you know, super excited, you know, we've got the Max Log there this year, we've got Iron Bibby coming across from Burkina Faso, we've got Bobby Thompson coming across from the States for it, you know, that's going to be an event to remember, I think, you know, having the great log pressers all there, you know, barring Graham Hicks, who's unfortunately injured, he had to pull out, wishing you a speedy recovery, Graham. Um, I'm looking forward to having you back, but, you know, to have these great athletes competing in the max log, I think it's it's very surreal, and I class myself as one of these athletes, you know, now it's, it's okay for me to say that, and I think that is the shift in mentality that I have I have had over this last year or so. You know, since we started working with Amy, I keep talking about it, but the psychologist we work with is, is very life-changing for me, you know, in my belief, my self-motivation, my pre-event checklist that I have to do, the, the kind of confidence and the determination now that I carry into these shows, that I believe I am the best. I believe I should be winning these shows. I believe I can beat anyone in, in the world. And I truly believe that. You know, that's the... The difference before I would say I'd want to go there and you know finish top five, finish top seven, whatever, and put in a solid display. But for me, anything other than a win isn't acceptable. You know, take it back to Arnold's. I believe I should have won that show. You know, and that's no disrespect to anyone else, but I know if I performed to my best, I would have won that. These little things that I expect of myself now, and I think I I kind of relish that pressure that I put myself under. I put myself under a lot of pressure, not only in Strongman, but through our business and what we do and, and what we try to achieve here. For me as a, as a person, I, I need that. I need that kind of drive, that kind of determination that I, I ask from myself every day um, to be consistent, to turn up, to work, to put the work in, not only in training, but in, in the business side of things and everything I do. So that then allows me to perform at my best at these big shows. At Europe's Strongest Man. I've got two sessions left. I've got um, some pressing to do. A uh, car hire, we pick up a minibus Thursday evening. We're driving down Friday to Leeds. We've got Simon, Gabriel, Simon's girlfriend's coming down, which will be fun. Harry's coming down as well. Obviously, Cushy, my wife, is coming down. Um, so we're all going to travel down and hopefully, you know, it'll be a great journey. Super exciting again to be competing for Giants Live. The events here this year are very different from, you know, Time's gone by, goes Max Log. We then have a deadlift medley, a deadlift ladder, progressing I think from 300 to 400 kilos, which will be incredible. On barbells as well, which is which is nice, a nice change um, compared to axle deadlifts all the time. We then have power stairs, which is the first time I've seen it in a Giants Live. Certainly since I've been competing, you know, we haven't had a power stairs, so that's incredible. Then we have an anchor carry into a chain drag which again hasn't really been done before we've had a chain drag but not not this carry into a chain drag and then we have Atlas Stones to finalize who is Europe's strongest man so it's it's, it's going to be really exciting my training's gone well I feel stronger than I did when I went out to Arnold's which is great obviously Arnold's hit a 213 14 kilo log very easily there I expect a lot more Iron Bibby there who's the world record log press um, holder so if I want to be at my best, I've got to expect a lot more. Last year at um, Europe's Strongest Man, so obviously it's a, it's televised, so we want, you know, the guys want to light us up on the stage and it looks incredible and, you know, all the, the footage really does look insane. But what happened, the, the spotlight, it was a very bright spotlight, so it's just beaming down. And as you, as you cleaned the log, clean was fine, and then you just were met with this beam of light in your eyes. 
and what happens is that that disorientates your 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 kind of your whole person, if it will. So when you're there, you can't quite focus, and you're blinking, and you lose balance. By doing that, then your core stability goes, and in turn, the the pace isn't quite there. But it's one of those things, you know. We live and we learn, and for me, that's a big learning curve as well to be prepared for every outcome. I'll pack my my pair of sunglasses um, for the competition, um, and again, it's not a an attack on Giants Live by any means. It's they they make the show look absolutely stunning, you know. And we compete; they make us look incredible. I've seen the footage, and it looks insane. So it's just up to us to be prepared for that. I actually messaged Bobby Thompson saying, to him, "You know, last year, mate, I, I struggled with the lighting. If I were you, I would take a pair of sunglasses because I, I want everyone to be on an even par. If any of the athletes are watching this, take a pair of sunglasses." Power stairs training's gone well. You know, we've had a few sessions with it. Deadlift will be interesting because I think a few people. We'll be going, you know, hook grip, under over, and then there'll be other ones that'll be doing figure of eights all the way through, and it's just going to be one of those. You know, I think we need to have a chat at the real meeting about how we lower the the deadlift bar, because to me, you know, we should be in control all the way through. So if you're hook gripping or doing double over, you still should have to have hands on until we lower it down. So maybe that's something we can have a chat in the real meeting and can I get that confirmed? And I'm sure you know that's what they'll expect. We have Magnus, the, the referee, he's um, he's the strictest referee, should I say. He's very strict in, in what he does, and rightly so. I think that'll be an interesting one. Anchor in the chain drag, um, that's, you know, that is what it is, a fast-paced event, and whoever, obviously, is the fastest is going to win that. It's, it's just kind of enduring that pain in the chain drag. That's the, the toughest part, is trying to get that momentum and build it as fast as we can and take it to the, the line. Stone training, for me, has gone the best it's gone in a number of years now. We've got a new set of stones from Atlas Endurance, which are incredible. It's so good to train with. A nice set of stones. The tacky feels good. Everything's going okay. You know, I'm training. we're training in the new warehouse, which gets quite warm. Temperature gets up, so I sweat a lot. That's a good indication of things going well. If I'm sweating and I'm still able to, you know, lift these stones, lift these heavy stones, I'm really happy so you know loaded a, two, a 200 kilo stone no problem one motion in the 180 not quite as good as as Tom's 210 for three one motion but you know um, baby steps for me and I'm, I'm very happy so coming into Europe so I feel very I'm, I'm, I'm confident you know I know there there's expectation obviously because I am the returning uh, champion of Europe so of course there's going to be expectation but no one expects more than I expect for myself. You know, I expect to go in to win these shows. You know, you guys probably seen, you know, the cold water swims. I've been doing that every day for the last few weeks now, and, and that's part of my preparation for these bigger shows. You know, I need to do that because it, it's not just training what we do here. You know, we're, we've are we got really big plans in, in the business aspect, so that's that takes a lot of my mental energy away from stuff. I guess people ask me, well, why can't you just focus on Strongman and give 100%? But I do give 100% to strongman but I also give 100% to the business aspect as well so those two can't they can't um, not happen without each other you know the business and the strongman has to be kind of in unison and that's why I give 100% to each because we have to be able to train obviously for strongman we have to be able to go to these competitions. We have to be able to do all these other great things that we do in the sport. So to be able to do that, I need to be in a good place financially. We need to, you know, be comfortable in that sense because we have to, you know, we've got Simon, we've got Gabriel, we've got Harry, um, we've got the buildings that we have here, we've got the gym, we've just taken on a new place here as well. So all those things are in, in kind of progress and we really need to push everything and the the dreams I have are very scary. You know, for me, it's become world's strongest man, become Arnold's champion, Rogue Invitational champion. You know, do these great shows and win them, and then the business is just sky high where I see it. You know, we've got very big plans, and I don't want to say them too much to to you guys because more pressure on us to succeed. But I'm very happy with how things are going. I'm very happy with my training. The guys, I mean, it's a stacked lineup. The lineup at Europe's is probably the best it's been in a long time. It'll be great to catch up with everyone. You know, see our great friend Alexei Novikov coming across from Ukraine. It'll be nice to see him again. I think what's nice now is that we all have that respect for each other. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to do this. I'm going to do whatever to anyone else because. I have the utmost of respect for every athlete that competes at Europe's Strongest Man. And, and I think that's a great thing about Strongman, is that we have that respect. 
I love competing in strongman. I love getting together with all the guys. Obviously, when we're competing, we all have that job to do. We're all there. We're all focused on ourselves. Afterwards, we all come together, have food, have a drink, relax, and celebrate with each other. You know, if if I've done well, everyone will celebrate. You know, last year. I remember when I when I won Europe's Strongest Man, Alexi was in second and Graham Hicks was in third. They both put their trophies down and clapped and kind of you know celebrated with me, which is you know which was a very nice feeling, a very humbling almost for me to to have that. And and I think that is the the beauty of the sport. So the thing I'm looking forward to most at Europe's Strongest Man is retaining my title to be a two-time champion. Secondly, obviously, is the, the log press, you know, going head-to-head -to -head with Iron Bibby and Bobby Thompson again. I think that's going to be, there's going to be a lot of hype there. You know, I'm going to be pretty, pretty switched on for that. And it's nice to put up something on a big stage. And that's what I'm, I'm really excited for those two things. There is a lot of fans slash critics um, like debating if you, if you should actually compete in Europe. So what, what do you have to say to them, basically? Yeah, so... Obviously, there's always chat online, and with Worlds coming up, uh, it'll be seven weeks after uh, Europe's Strongest Man. So a lot of people are kind of questioning whether or not I should compete in Europe's Strongest Man if World's Strongest Man is my focus. But I've heard rumours that the events at Europe's are very similar to World's Strongest Man. So again, it's a good, it's five events. It's five events that I can go hard and go and train. We normally train six or seven events in an events day, so having five events, I'm just using this on an events day, but it's going to be in full full anger, you know, full comp mode. So it gives me an indication of where I am and what I need to improve on going into World's Strongest Man. So I appreciate everyone's concern and comments and, you know, should he or shouldn't he, but in all honesty, it's it's between myself. Yeah, I mean, it's probably between myself. Dan can advise me. Nathan can advise me, Cushy can advise me, you know, and that's all it is, it's advising. But what I want at the end of the day, I'll, I'll, you know, truly stand by that. And I want to compete at Europe's Strongest Man. If I didn't want to compete there, if I didn't want to win and put on a show, I wouldn't be there, it's as simple as. So for me, it's another step in becoming World's Strongest Man and becoming the, the strongest man on the planet and giving me the confidence to really achieve that. So guys, Thank you for watching. That was my little thoughts before Europe's Strongest Man. You can stream it live from officialstrongman.com if you aren't going to be there, so please do stream it. It's going to be an awesome show, and Giants Live do such an awesome job with the live streams. I think they've pretty much perfected it, so please tune in. Thank you for watching. As always, thank you for the support. If you like this video, please comment down below, give the video a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get us up to 200,000 subscribers very soon. Thank you for watching. As always, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling! -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.